Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here with the next part of the Road to Top 10 in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon OU. Thank you everybody for the consistent support. I appreciate the likes, the comments. Of course, if you could get this to a thousand likes after you like the video, of course. If you don't like the video, then don't like it, basically. Uh, but if you do enjoy it, it helps me out, so I would appreciate if you did it. If you don't, that's completely fine. Uh, today we're actually going to be using a little bit of offense, and let's get right into the team preview. Alright, so as I said, we are using a more offensive build this time, and it's actually pretty standard. I feel like as we climb up the ladder, I will be deviating between this and, you know, uh, some creative builds that will help me uh, take on what's popular up there. But I do want to give a big shout out to my boy ABR for passing this team. We are starting off with a Pokemon that I think I've used every single episode for good reason too. Choice Scarf Landorus Therian Form. We have offensive landers this time. I've typically been using defensive, but Jolly 196 speed means that we do outspeed Mega Alakazam. Uh, the 244 attack and 68 defense. 68 defense helps us take on Zard X, uh, plus one Zygarde and whatnot. And again, the 244 attack is so we can get the biggest punch out of our earthquake, out of our explosion. Explosion is really nice for Gyarados, Megalodi, Tornadus. Stone Edge is there also for Gyarados, uh, as well as Zard. And uh, Tornadus after rocks, it does KO. Even a max HP variant with our attack investment. Uh, this mon is meant to pivot around, getting our big threats, as you guys will see that we do have. And you guys know what Landers does with its Intimidate. So next up we have Ash Greninja, but this time we're actually, you know, this is coming from the guy who's used Magma Storm almost every episode I've used Heatran, but we're actually using an Ash Greninja that does not miss. We are using Choice Specs Ash Greninja with Surf over Hydro Pump. Obviously Hydro Pump's added power is definitely going to be missed, but Surf means we don't miss at all, which is really nice. Um, I definitely lost games to missing Hydro Pumps in the end versus like a 40% Assault Vest Magirna or something that would win me the game if I do connect. Um, so this one is supposed to be a little bit more accurate, especially because Offensive Lando actually does a ton to Assault Vest Tangrowth with U-Turn, so that means the Dark Pulse will be a 2-hit KO after that from Gren. So like in that situation, because Lando is doing so much damage, you don't typically need to go for um, hydro Pump. And this not only counts for Tangrel, but Ferrothorn, as well as uh, Lottie's. Magirna wants to stay in. A lot of H Max HP and Magirna's can live Lannister's attack, but you're doing a little bit more. Go for Surf after. Uh, so they really do support each other. U-Turn just getting them in um, to Ash Gren. You guys know what Spikes, Water Shuriken, and Dark Pulse does by now. Uh, we have Mega Alakazam as our next Pokemon. Timid uh, because Lopany is rising and we don't want to lose to that by going Modest. Though Modest, the power difference is huge. But Psychic, Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, and Recover. Um, this is a little bit iffy of a choice right now due to Mega Latios running Draco Meteor again instead of Ice Beam, Psychic, Roost, and Earthquake. Uh, because otherwise, Mega Alakazam does beat that with Tracing, Levitate, and then obviously taking on the other moves. One resisting, the other not doing much. Whereas Shadow Ball is a 2 at KO. Uh, but... Modest, uh, Timid Mega Alakazam also outspeeds uh, Zero Aura um, and Pokemon below that and just hits incredibly hard. Uh, and, and just, again, this is a really just offensive build. The idea is to hit hard and um, use U-turn momentum and just go from there. Uh, but Zam with Magic Guard and Trace, well Trace after, uh, allows it to check Heat Ren as long as it's not Continental, not Continental Crush, excuse me, Corkscrew Crash. And then Recover is nice because uh, this thing can actually repeatedly switch in on Toxapex, as you guys can see from our team, or as you will see, we don't have a, we don't have the best Toxapex switch-ins, but Zam, because it does trace regen and recovery, also is there for longevity, we don't care about burn, can switch in repeatedly on that. Gives us that speed control as well, just because it's high speed, um, combined with Mega Zam, uh, combined with, excuse me, Choice Scarf Lantern's theory and form. So, next up we have Offensive Tornadus, really nice, with uh, Taunt, Hurricane, Knock, and Defog. Taunt plus knockoff is really good for Celesteela, which can be a problem to the three Pokemon we just mentioned, just because of Leech Seed Protect. We knock off its leftovers, we taunt it, preventing it from getting up uh, Leech Seed again. Knock off, again, nice also for Feral Throne, we taunt it, preventing it from going for Leech Seed, preventing it from going for Stealth Rock Spike. Defog as well as the prime Defog on the team, and Z Hurricane is a nuke, uh, weakening opposing Landorus, doing like 80% to them. Um, chomp, it's a, just a good nuke in general, 60-70 to Feral Thorn. Opening up a door for Greninja and Alakazam, not needing them to uh, hit their attacks, basically Focus Blast or Greninja. In Greninja's case, having to be Battle Bond form to knock it out with Dark Pulse. This is also the main Kartana switch in on the team. This is a great pivot for Kartana with Fly MZ. We don't care about the knockoff, and we can find out if it's Bandit or Scarf based on the damage. Um, 
It doesn't care about Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, where you can live one. And we do have a few Pokemon, as you guys will see as we keep going, that can actually switch in on that. But Defog on the team. Taunt is also good for stopping Tox, Specs from Recover. And again, Knock Off, just getting rid of items is great. So next up, we have Heat Ramp. Running Calm Natured, uh, 120 HP, 132 attack. This means that it's only a 6% chance for offensive Heat Ramp to knock us out with Earth Power. Whereas our Earth Power does 96% min, um, theirs does 100% max. Uh, with the 248 speed investment, we do outspeed max speed Magirna. So if it's shift gear, we can taunt it before it sets up and go for Lava Plume. Uh, this is a stealth rock on the team. Taunt is also, again, nice for Clefable. Helps us wear that thing down. So that heat rank can also just take uh, hits in general from Lele if need be. And uh, yeah, last but not least, we have Assault Vest Tangrowth just rounding it out. It's offense, pretty much a staple on offense in my opinion, or at least bulky offense. Uh, this is our Greninja check. This is our Zygarde check, Tapu Koko check. Uh, with Assault Vest, we take on all the aforementioned Pokemon. Giga Drain, Knock Off, Earthquake, and Hidden Power Ice. Earthquake is nice for Assault Vest Magirna, for Shift Gear Magirna, for hitting Heat Ran as well. Um, Coco as well, bopping its Shooka Berry if it does have it. HP Ice is nice for Zygarde. Giga Drain, great for recovery. And uh, Knock Off is just there, getting rid of the... Uh, this is a good pivot to Ferrothorn as well, uh, just because of the fact that you avoid Leech Seed and you can knock off its leftovers. So that's great, again, for Greninja, for Alakazam for an offensive land. So like I said, a really offensive team this time around, and let's get right into the battles. All right, guys, so we got a game, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of the matchup here. Uh, it looks to be dual screens offense, but I could be wrong. However, if it is, I'm assuming it's, oh, who is this avatar too? You are not Whitney. Uh, I'm assuming it's dual screens Coco plus SD Lucha, Shift Gear Magirna, Dragon Ants, Zygarde, uh, Subseat Superior, and SD Pinsir. Now, um, Tornadus is great in this game, but I'm very prone to losing to Halucha. Like I am super prone to losing to Halucha. Uh, I actually, it's it's just a really bad matchup for me. So I'm gonna leave Lando. Lando is out fa uh, faster than the entire team. But the thing is, like I said, I'm super prone to losing to Lucha. Uh, we're gonna earthquake immediately as he goes Pinsir. I didn't think he'd go hard Lucha there anyway. Now Pinsir is a Pokemon that can pretty much get a kill versus me. I have to think about what's important. Uh, I do like Greninja in the late game, but I feel like the Water Shirt is nice. I like Zam as well for its ability to outspeed everything. However, no, Zam is the least expensive, most expensive member. Excuse me, Zam does the least. So we'll go Zam as he goes for Stealth Rock, which is not what I expected. Uh, however, we can Mega Evolve now and knock him out with Psychic. Uh, definitely didn't expect Rock, so that leads me to believe it's definitely Dual Screens, Coco. For sure, dual screens, Coco. Um, and Rocks is actually really bad for me too because it means that... It, it for one means that uh, Landorus is going to take even less. So, goes out to Magirna. I don't think I need to go here right here. I'm actually going to Shadow Ball. Uh, just based on that damage, I know I'll do a KO. As he goes for Flare Cannon, it does not knock me out, which is great. If the next one doesn't knock me out, I can recover as well, which is pretty important. Let me calc that. Alakazam. Custom set. I thought I imported the team. That is uh, that is not the import of the team. <laughs> Magirno, you shift gear, flare cannon. That dude is modest. There you go. Minus two, 52%, so he can't KO me. Okay, cool. So I can recover here. As he goes for T-Bolt, and again, I can just recover one more time. Um, again, Zam wasn't as important in this game, but... Just the fact that I was able to deal with that Magirna is really cool. Zam isn't important, as I said, so I'm going to go for Psychic, as he ends up being a Choice Scarf Superior. That's not so bad. Uh, this gives me a sack on Zam, and I can end up bringing out my Heat Ran here and just get up my Rocks, which will help me pressure uh, the, the Pinsir. And again, I already have my sack, which is always going to be Zam. So I can get on my rocks here. Uh, Leaf Storm isn't going to do it too much. We know it's Choice Scarf Superior because it did outspeed Zam. As he brings out Magirna, my Heat Ran is guaranteed faster. And I can just go right for Lava Plume and knock out Mag. So great. Rocks are up, which start in Pinsir. Obviously, Zygarde can come out, which is a problem. Tangrowth is always my play, but that gives Halucha a switch. And I have to be really careful about Lucha. So he goes for Dragon Tail. And goodbye, Zam. Okay, I didn't do that much. I don't know what to think about that. I have for sure HP Ice here because it knocked out Pinsir and it does the most to uh, 
It does the most to Zygarde. Dragon Tail. I'm still... I'm, I'm trying to think how I don't lose to Halucha. I gotta hope that Lando lives... Because what I could do is I could actually Water Shuriken and switch him. If Lando lives a plus one Acrobatics, which I'm pretty sure it does, um, I can explode into Water Shuriken. So I'm just going to put the team in here, which I now have, thankfully. Landorus. Custom set. Halucha. Electro Seed Sweeper. Get rid of its item. Plus one due to Intimidate. Explosion does 111. And it's going to have the defense raise as well. Uh, so this is where we sack, and I believe that my play is always to sack Heatran as it does nothing in this game. Mm -hmm. Actually, I can safely go Greninja now and just click Surf. Uh, that's awesome. Okay, so Surf knocks you out. Uh, you're forced to sack Coco as well. You're, you're forced to go Coco here. I don't have to worry about missing, which is great. Uh, we knock out Pinsir. Uh, Zygarde was my opponent's play, which is interesting. I'm going to Surf again, because Surf will 2 a KO you. As you Dragon tells me on the Lanners. So I'm okay with because I can U-turn and then bring right back out Greninja. I surf again on Coco, which guarantee knocks you out too. The spec surf is nasty. If he SDs, I lose. I feel like I have to go for surf. Let me explode here. If minus one defense, I should be able to live a hit. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this will kill even through the uh, defense raise. Okay, awesome. Good game, nice. Nice, okay, so that was good because as you can see, this is the damage roll. Um, that might have been a roll itself, but. Okay, he was definitely not this set. He was just max. He was no HP. And if that's the case, it was, yeah, that, that's the only roll that did it. Okay, so we're cool. We got our first win. Um, again, I think Kalucha could have came out and swept me. So that was a 50 50 at that turn with uh, me staying in with Greninja. Basically, if he SD'd. Actually, no. I made the uh, the incorrect play, in my opinion. Uh, I actually might have made the incorrect play. Because I think that if I went Lucha and he has D... Depends how much Lando took. Plus one. No, Lando was in range of rocks. I, that was the only play I could make. That was a true 50. I had to make that play. Lando literally died after the next turn of rocks. So I had to make that play. Because I already had another switch in previously. So yeah, that was the only play. The only play was surfing, so it couldn't SD. Uh, and then hope Lando takes it out. Or hope Torn lives a hit. So very, very, very scary team. Um, 10 million threats and a Chansey. So this is not what we like to see. I love Zam in this build because the only thing that means I don't lose a Mon to cure on Black immediately. Exactly. So I lead Zam. I throw off a Focus Blast immediately. I Mega Evolve and throw off a Focus Blast immediately. He's going to go Chansey, but this is my only play. I think if I spike stack him, I'm good. I do trace the natural cure, which is pretty cool. I'm a psychic. Because I, I trace the natural cure, so his thing doesn't matter too much on me. And I can always recover it off, too. Yeah, I trace natural cure, so I think we're good here. I'm going I'm to recover a couple turns. As he goes Zapdos. Uh, discharge from Zapdos won't matter. Psychic damage on you will, though, for Greninja in the late game. Again, I can switch. I'm actually going to go out to Heat right here. As I do have my natural cure, I don't want to risk uh, getting paired, and I can get up my rocks. Yeah, I can get up my rocks. Don't have to worry too much about Zapdos. I think that's defensive Zapdos, too. As he brings out Heat Ran. And even though this Mon's really important for Mawal, uh, I have much. I really value not having to hit Focus Blast. So if this is offensive Heat Ran, I'd rather potentially get a roll right here. And knock him out. And uh, that is defensive as hell. So what I can do is actually... I want to say risk my Tangrowth. 
But she, could, she should go for Earth Power. Uh, as he switched out the Chansey, this also dealt with that because it gives me a knockoff. Of course, it does allow him to bring out Kiram, but he allows me to knock off the Chansey of Violite. That is so good. I could not have asked for a better turn there. I will also guarantee live uh, rocks with Zam and trace its natural cure. So that's so good because uh, Greninja just clicks Dark Pulse soon. I live this. I'm at 105. So I can get my Zam a little bit more healthier. Don't gotta worry about you. I wonder how much Focus Blast actually does. Let's see. Let's find out. Oh my god. <gasps> that did 50. However, I'm not I'm not gonna go for it and, and knock out Zam when Zam is like the only thing that knocks out Kiram. Um I'm at 103. Okay. I can afford to go for it now. As I miss, unfortunately. Again, we have Natural Cure, so we'll be able to get on out of there. This is still my better play. Hmm. This thing's annoying. I don't want to lose to a Scarf Superior. Because I, like, looking at my opponent's build, it's the only one that looks like it could be Scarf, if it is. That does so much damage. And I got a spin up job, which is huge. So I'm gonna recover one more time because if you lose Chansey, you're in a bad situation. I'm basically just trying to recover out of range of the Silent Toss. That way I can just go for it as he brings out Maul. Very nice play. I'm for sure switching out, dude. But Chansey being at 52 is amazing for Greninja. Mawal uh, Mega Evolving Early is great too. Um, my Hiren definitely lives knockoff into Sucker Punch. Uh, only thing that can knock me out is like a full on... I'm going for Earth Power by the way. I don't want you going Hiren on a pivot. Only thing that can knock me out here would be like a full on Brick Break or something like that. Or play... Uh, not even Brick Break. Brick Break would not knock me out. I'm HP invested. Uh, it would have to be... Um, it would have to be... Uh, what's it called? A focus punch so we're able to taunt the chancy here if he wants to soft boil great he's gonna go for seismic toss i have regenerator on my tornado so i don't have to worry too much about that knock off with two a ko you you literally cannot bring in chancy on anything else i am loving my greninja in this game hmm Horn is good for Serp if it's Scarf, but so is uh, Tango. I'm gonna Z here. It's okay if he suckers, because I believe I just bring out. Uh, I, I literally bring out this Mon and I get my kill. Because I Earth Power here. Earth Power gets rid of Heatran. It does the damage I need for Mawile for Dark Pulse, which is what I'm going for a win on. And it'll, uh, it'll 2 a KO Chansey, so I don't have to worry about that. Of course, he gets to bring out Big Boy right after, but as long as chancy has gone, we're good. I'm surprised this dude actually gave me that. Also surprised you're going uh, Zapdos, especially because I get to find off I'm faster or not, and Discharge doesn't kill me. How would you save a 2%? That's the You know Chansey's the only one on his team that can actually learn Healing Wish, right? Oh, he went for Hidden Power too, doesn't even kill me. Nice, and I'm faster too. That is awesome. Try to expect Lando. There was no way I was going Lando. I am so confused as to what my opponent is doing here. But we're going to bring out Zam now. <laughs> as we're not going to risk the Earth Power. Um, Shadow Ball definitely KOs you. Zam is looking nasty. Shadow Ball for sure KOs. You give me damage on Mawal too, we good. Oh, I am loving Dark Pulse, man. Everything is almost in range. Give me a hit on Mawa. Recover is decent here, but if he has Toxic, I don't want to. And actually, Recover is the better play, even if he has Toxic. He just goes for Earth Power again. So we can Shadow Ball. Uh, Shadow Ball should still be able to get rid of Heatran, like I said. Or at least really close. And Shadow Ball is my better play because he has no real resistances. Yeah, so great. So Heatran's gone. Um, Chansey dies to rocks. 
Uh, Kiram needs one hit. I can't switch in on my Greninja. Kiram cannot switch in on my Greninja. I'm actually going to Psychic Kiram too to find out if it's Scarf or not. Which I don't think it is. Fusion Bolts to KO me. We go Grand and click Dark Pulse here. Spiking doesn't make a difference. Uh, he should sack Chansey, but I guess he could keep Kiram alive. Nope, he decides to give me my Battle Ball form. Okay. I don't understand why that 2% Chansey is important to him. But it is. For whatever reason. I always go out to Heatran. Even if he knocks. Or Swords Dances, whatever. Sucker Punch doesn't KO me, so... Also puts me out of... I'm, I'm still out of range of Superior. Um, I'm out of range of Zapdos because I'm faster. Chansey drops. It's game. Serp can't beat me anyway because I have Greninja, which is faster. I have Assault Vest. Every mon on my team can deal with Serp. It's HP ground. Impressive. Very impressive. He gets the static on me. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, not the static. Uh oh. It's gonna be synthesis too. Wait, what? Why? <laughs> okay. A fallen comrade Chansey. I don't think it's over, dude. I'm pretty sure you live this hit. And because you got static on me. Oh, you don't live. Wow. Ash Green is broken. <laughs> I didn't think that did 82%. What the hell? So basically, the set I was worried about it being was uh, Sir, uh, Sir Pierre, was Because he sold HP ground, I meant that it couldn't touch Tangrowth. But because he got the poison on me, uh, if he got the Leaf Storm boost and he was Synthesis on his Superior, because of Static Paralysis on Landorus, um, I would have lost. Basically, if it's Leaf Storm, it'll 1v1 Tangrowth due to its Synthesis. I mean, it literally had to be that one set, but... I'm surprised you have HP ground when you have Chansey, Kiram, Mawal, even opposing Heatran to all lure... Uh, to all lure Heatran. I feel like HP ground is a little bit of a waste. I think HP fire is a little bit better. This is going to be a nasty one. A pretty glide score week. Mega Scizor plus Banded T-Tart. Yo, I'm really Banded T-Tart weak too. I'm running offense. Uh, love Zam in this though. Scarf Grin, I'm pretty sure. If you lead Scarf Grin, which I'm like 100% sure it is. I'm gonna lead Heat Ramp. I'm like 100% sure this is Scarf Grin Ninja, so if I'm my opponent, I U-turn here. I don't Hydro Pump. It could also go for Spike, because I have Tangrowth. I'm going to Lava Plume, uh, expecting him to want to U-turn out into what I'm hoping to be Gliscor. This is a really aggressive play, and I actually need this Pokemon to not lose the Scizor. But, yeah, like, I'm 100% sure that's Scarf Grin. Oh, great. What a great turn one. I literally killed Greninja, too. What a great turn one. And it wasn't even Scarf Grin, so I would have been able to kill Greninja there. And I've lost my Mon. Alright, give me Protean, bro. That really sucks. Um, that was a dead Greninja turn one. He has to roost though, which gives me multiple opportunities to thaw again. You should never stay in. Go Gliscor and thaw. There you go. Get the burn. Punish him. Punish him for turn one. There we go. Beautiful start. Lovely. This is his rocker too. That's for sure the rocker. No rocks for you. Too bad he's going to be able to go out into what I'm expecting to be Tarantar. He actually goes Coco. Which is good too. Uh, either way, Tangrof is back. Good thing my Heatran thought. I'm actually really good with that. Tangrof actually walls Gliscor forever now. Um, that Scizor is a problem. I have to be careful because Pursuit on Tarantar will be able to knock out my uh, heat ran at that point. 
If rocks are up, Focus Blast does 2 KO Scizor though. Even with the boost. Yeah, and this beast is inside too, so. Yeah, that's cool. I'll switch into you. It's been nice to kill. Alright, we'll Giga Drain once because we'll live an Ice Beam. I need that damage for my Greninja for later. Uh, if he wants to Hydro Pump our Ice Beam again, that's fine. I don't have HP Fire. He could Hydro Pump. Actually, I Giga Drain again because I'll live the next Ice Beam. Come on, man. I needed him not to get a, a, a crazy roll versus... Uh, that is not looking that good, boys. I'll play a little bit aggressively, though. And what I'm actually going to do is not go out into Tornadoes here because that invites in Coco. I guess knockoff is a fair play, though. My opponent can make no matter what. Yeah, it's leftovers, Coco, too. I'm going to knock it because he's going to defog. I have to play aggressively at this point because I've lost my Mon, um, basically. And I always go Lando here. That sucks! I'm, I'm gonna be honest guys, I really think it was an easier game uh, because of my turn one if he didn't freeze me. <laughs> hey, but you know what? I've actually gotten two freezes recently. I guess a little bit of karma right there. I'm not going out into heat rain because I can't get knocked off. Yeah. I have to go for the confusion on Coco. Okay, like I said, I had to go for that. And I, I literally had to go for that if I wanted to win. That was like... That was something I had to go for. He goes for knock. I lose my item on Grin. Is that bad? I don't think so. I actually think that's okay. Can I get a spike? He brings in Tangrowth. I always go Lando, even if he knocks again. Then I spam Lava Plume. Any Earthquakes there, good play. Minus one though, minus one, we're okay. So he shits that Glide Score, yep. I get a Recover, I get a Psychic KO. Scizor kind of cleans me up though. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go for luck here. I'm going to be honest. Without my specs, this becomes really, really, really hard. Like, I. I... And this was legitimately because of that. That turn one, man. Always you turn. Yes, D's, I'm screwed anyway. Goes for curse. Uh, I mean, I always pulse regardless, right? I think at this point I have to go for a flinch. And I don't get it. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't the best game. Uh, that Greninja was able to get rid of me because of the turn one freeze, unfortunately. Otherwise, Lava Plume would have KO'd Gren. It KO's Gren always, right? I mean, I'm assuming it's Heat Ran, after all. Uh, Greninja. Let's assume it's all you dual hazards, whatever. And let's assume it's, it's, it's ice type. Pretty sure Lapum KOs, or at least comes close, right? Lapum does 101 minimum. Yeah, so, a uh, really bad start for us, and a super scary team too. Uh, Carl and Victini, I have no idea what to expect from this. I would say dual screens, but then he has Feral Thorn. Just a bunch of hard hitters. Uh, Lando is by far my best lead because it gives me the best advantage versus Coco and Victini as a lead. He ran is going to be important in this. And my Intimidate did go first. Uh, I'm Earthquake, I don't care if you go out to your own lander, so I have a pivot. You go Feral Thorn, that's better for me. I get to weaken Feral. Oh, for sure, I'm weakening you even more for my Gren. Hell yeah. 
don't want him leeching here, so I'm gonna bring out Tangrowth. You can knock off, I guess, but. I'm gonna Earthquake here too, because Victini is a pretty uh, obvious switch in, in my opinion. So this mod is important because it deals with Lando, but at the same time, I don't deal with Victini well. I'm Earthquake again. Assuming he's gonna. Yeah, he's Z's. Okay. So this is okay. Um, because we put you in range of Water Shuriken. Like, doesn't matter the amount of hits. And I just have to decide what's expendable. And I, I feel like it's Zam. But I want to. I think Tornadus is more expendable than Zam. Tornadus gets a KO every time, but. Yeah, I think. Uh, Zam being able to outspeed Coco is huge. So we're gonna sack Torn here. Yeah, man. Alright, Grin. Do your thing. And his water resist is Crawdon, which doesn't really exist. Yeah, man. Thank you, dude. I actually really, 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 really want rocks up. And his only double that deals with Tangrowth offensively is either Victini or Mawal. So I think he ran as a fire play here. And I'll get up my rocks, no matter what. Like, I want Victini gone. So what he should do is go out to Crawdon. Which is why I'm going to go Tangrowth. He sacks Victini, which is great because that means he doesn't have that sack later. Moa comes out. Uh, I don't think my item on Tangrowth matters, so I'm just going to go for Earthquake for a little bit of chip. I don't want him um, going for knockoff on Heran. My bad, bro. That's super important, too. And I can save Tangrowth for uh, Landorus as well as... It's not Z Landorus, it's probably Scarf. I can save Land, uh, it for Landorus. Uh, very good play on my opponent's part, too. Solid play, solid play all around. Still liking Lando, or opposing Lando, rather. Just gotta be careful, because that Chrono could be me. If you HPS is your great play, too. But that gives me Gren, so I think U-turn is a little bit smarter of a play. Now, this is where it gets a little bit nasty. Because this is the part where the rat breaks down. If I U-turn, and he goes for knockoff, I think I win with just Gren. Because Zam is actually the most expendable now, seeing as how Ferrothorn actually recovered so it's not in range of Shadow Ball anymore. I'll go Zam on the knock. So if I U-turn there, it was a, it was a, it was a wrap. Alright, so we bring back out Lando. We go for a U-turn. He brings in Feral Thorn, and I get the chip I need on Feral Thorn to, to knock it out with Dark Pulse, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just make sure that Greninja prior to... Uh, I was about to say Ultra Bursting. Yes, uh, Greninja prior to Ultra Bursting, of course. Um, may, I'm a, yo, calm down. Greninja's already broken enough as it is. I'm not trying to make it even more. 31 to 37. It has no left throws recovery. This is for sure my play. So, nice. We get Battle Bond form, which is going to be really important because I'm faster than Coco. Unless it's Scarf. He ran is easily the most expendable member. It doesn't beat anything. Whereas Growth comes in once on everything. And if he brings out Crawdon, then he lets me weaken it for Water Shuriken, so... Do you drink KOs you? I'm Earthquake. Yep. Get rid of Mawile so I don't give that thing a second KO. He gets in Landers and goes for U-turn. Water Shuriken. I can get Drain here because I'll level U-turn. Um, Water Shuriken KOs Lando. Uh, keeping my Lando alive is smart. Yeah, Water Shuriken also KOs Coco, guaranteed. 
How much did you turn do last time? I don't think that KOs me. I'm gonna go for Giga Drain again. Yep. Uh, so Giga Drain either puts. La so basically, I'm trying to make it so I can uh, I can Water Shuriken sweep him, or Dark Pulse. Like if he gives me if he gives me Lando here, it's bad for him. I also need to calc how much I do to uh, what's it called? Car. I just do 50 to 59. Sorry, YouTube, don't demonetize him. <laughs> this guy's a nice guy. You hit him powers. Mm, how much does Cardon do to it's it banded, right? Jesus, that does so much. I surf here, he goes Lando. I actually spike. I spike because I have to make sure that I can water shirk and sweep him. Mm -hmm. Then I sack Tangrove. And this guarantees a, a KO basically. Yeah, I win. Unless he's max HP. Uh, because Carlin's in range of water shuriken. Right? Yep, that's 50. He's actually max HP on Crawdaunt. Really? Good game, bro. Damn. I really didn't think max HP made sense in OU. Max HP? Were you actually max HP? Because it does 50 min. Ah, good game. Like my team, I'll send it to you. Sure, small and purple. So I'm going to be honest there, I think max HP doesn't make the most sense on Crawdon and OU uh, just because it's not, like you can, you have potential to be faster than a lot of threats, how fast is Crawdon? But wow, I, w I really didn't think he'd be max HP there. I would have went for another spike if I would have known. How fast is Crawdon? It's not that fast naturally, isn't it slower than Clefable? It's slower than Clef, yes. Okay, that was my bad, uh, let me delete that one. Look for another one. Was it the best game then? I thought we, uh, I, I'm only bringing six Pokemon. What are you talking about? There's only six Pokemon on this team. What? Yeah, I really thought, um, you make it speedier for, like, Mega Scizor, uh, Rotom, bulky Rotom running around, which you will at speed. With Max. Oh, well, I was wrong. I think Max HP makes sense on Trick Room. I, I didn't, but he wasn't Trick Room, so. How much did I do that? Again? So all I have to do is spike again and win. Because I do 40 to 48, yeah. Ah. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate, man. We did not progress very much this episode. Unfortunate. Ultimate Ultrason. So we got the one dude who froze turn one. And then max HP crawl on save him. It's a good call on his part, obviously, in Builder, but... Hey, both the top 10? Yeah, fun. Um, Mega Zen... Uh, Mega Lottie. No, whoa, regular Lottie. Maybe Scarf plus Gren? What the hell? Zam's the only thing that means I don't lose to Z Kiram turn one. This is a tough matchup. Because my Gren isn't going to do as much work since he has Bulu plus Rotom, and Rotom's Defog. Which is why I want to lead Zam, because if he leads Rotom, I get to Psychic immediately. What type of lot is he? I haven't seen a regular lot in a long time. That's really cool. Well, this is Scarf Gren. I see female, so I know. Yep. I see female, so I know it's Protein, excuse me. Male, uh, Battle Bond Greninja cannot be female, so that's a little, you know, that's a pretty obvious tip, but... Uh, keep your keep your Greninja's mail. Even if even if it only bluffed to turn one, like I could have potentially. If I'm a I'm not a risk taker, at least that early. But nice. Blender just told me he got partner on Twitch. That's awesome, bro. I'm happy for you, man. 
Don't know what to switch into here. I need Hiram because it beats these two in the back. Gren looking expendable. Honestly. He could just Fusion Bolt too, but Gren's looking literally the most expendable. Um, and if he doesn't... Just Earth Powers. Doesn't do much. Nice. So I'll spike up. Maybe he'll fear a low kick. All out pummeling. Go uh, Bulu. I would appreciate that actually very much. Um, plus Naive Kiram also goes down to Focus Blast from Zam Always. Just goes Rotom. I wonder if he's Thunder Wave. I actually value a knockoff on Rotom. So I'm going to go out into Tornadoes because I think this is the only one that... This will give me the faster knockoff. I immediately... He also doesn't like switching into this. Yes, Tornadoes is useful for dealing with Bulu, but a knockoff on Rotom means it doesn't come in repeatedly on Heat Rant if it's Iapapa Berry. Um, it doesn't come in repeatedly on... Uh, on Zam. Ooh. Man, this thing is a problem. I'm super sorry, Sky Shacking the hell out of you. Give me some damn, give me like 60%. Because I don't want him knocking off on my heat ran. Yeah, 65. There's a knockoff. Off for sure, Hurricane. Like, I'm not going heat ran. Heat ran's way too useful in this game for Bulu and Kiram. You can go for Sucker Punch all you want. Goes Rotom. Just takes 10 million. And I'm going to knock you off, too. You don't need that. So I'm, I'm okay with sacking Torn. Torn did his job. I already have Mawile in range of Zam, um, and Rotom dies to Psychic after Rocks. So, sick. Great start. Also, Gren does not run an attack to hit Eat Ran, so I'll get on my Rocks here. Hydro Pump won't kill me anyway, and I get Grass to Terrain Recovery later, so I'm okay. Yep. So we get up our Rocks. As Rotom comes out, I am uh, for sure taunting you. Then I'm going to go Zam and click buttons. Because I'll get my HP back in the grass terrain, so I'm not as worried about that. I have no idea what type of Lottie this is. No defog for you, sir. And I have to go Zam because if he Volt switches and I go Tangrowth, he gets a kill with Kirim. <laughs> he literally gets a kill with Kirim, so. Gren, I would love to risk my Landers on the... Uh, on the U-turn, but I can't risk going for Ice Beam as well. Um, so Weakening Grand is nice. Uh, Rotom comes out, it's annoying. But Kieran coming out is way more annoying, so... <laughs> mm. Lando is necessary in me winning. I talked about Gren and not being as good because of what he has, but it might... Gren's the most expendable member out of all of them. I need Tangrowth alive for his own Gren so I don't lose to it. So now we can Dark Pulse for a little bit of damage. If you bring out Bulu, that's cool. I have my Tangrowth as a pivot. My Tangrowth also helps me check his Gren plus Rotom, KOs Mawal plus Lottie. So it's a, a good play for me, I think. I have not eaten today. I should eat. Ugh. I should definitely eat. Ulti McAlterson. <laughs> I'm happy Blender got partner on Twitch even though he hasn't streamed in like since he moved to school. <laughs> That's funny, man. That's very funny. So you go Bulu here. And that's your only play. Oh, you stayed in. I am uh Surprised, super surprised actually. Um, but you know, we take those. We for sure take those. To go Bulu after, which is interesting to me. Because that doesn't provide much for you. I get in Heat Ran now. Even if you Sewer Power, that's fine. Uh, Kyurem doesn't come in on anything because it's dead. Spadef, drop. Alakazam. Abulu. Let's 
six, psychic. Camera update, yes. 59 to 70. Not enough damage. I think that bring out Zam again here too. Cause I don't let you double out to Rotom. But he actually goes for superpower. I'm su you were minus one spadef. I'm super surprised. Hornleash never knocks me out, even in grassy terrain. So I'm gonna recover here. Like, Hornleys does not knock me out. I don't understand why he stayed in, but I'm going to plume you now. Hey, you were minus one spadef. If you lost Bulu, then Zan could go in. No idea what type of Latios this is. It did 17, so now I'm assuming Assault Vest. But maybe that's just neutral. That's, maybe that's just regular damage. Can't let him trick here. Specs a life orb surfs and knocks me out. Ah! Yeah, that's game. Man! I didn't expect life orb. I couldn't let him trick. I couldn't let him trick Tangrel. Um, because I couldn't let him actually, I guess Tangrel being trick would have been the okay play. Uh, this game is not over yet. It's for sure not over yet. I Giga Drain first. Then I guess I knock spam. Like a side shock does nothing. Come on, man. I could've just went Tangrel up there. Knock does so much, though. I just don't want him to go... Oh, you didn't remember this? I don't want him bringing in Rotom and trying to defog on me. Yeah, I don't want to bring in Rotom and trying to defog on me, so I'm gonna go Lando here. I know I'm really cutting my Pokemon short, but if Lando Earthquake prevents, if Lando's Earthquake or Explosion prevents Rotom from coming in, I'm go with it. Kieran gets the Roost though, which is annoying. Ah, Kiram gets to come in. Can I still win this even if I even if I outplay Kiram? Maybe. U-turn knocks you out for sure, because I'm offensive. I think E-Rank can still do it. And if he goes Mawa, I get up rocks. Because E-Rank walls Greninja, and it can beat Bulu 1v1. This is going to be close, man. Yeah, I eat the next one no matter what. Because of his own terrain. And I'll wall Gren too. So I go for Plume. Get this roll. Got a burn. I'm gonna have to uh, play like 10 million Sucker Punches. <laughs> Actually, I don't have to play 10 million. Thirty-eight to forty-five percent. I need to outplay enough to the point where you can't ice beam sweep me with Greninja.
Yeah, I need enough HP to point. You can't ice beam sleep me with Gren. I feel like the third one's when you attack, but. Uh, gets the 45 roll. I'm off from here. Okay, uh, ice beam from Gren might not be able to knock me out. Ice Beam from Gren actually cannot knock me out. And that can miss, so... Man! Good game. Ah! I'm so mad. Ah, we lost so many. If I taunt it once more, I don't think I... How much did Heat Ren take from... Greninja, or you choice scarf. 24. Oh, I need it to outplay a lot. Yeah, I need it to actually get that right. Uh, so, oh, in this episode, we lost a bunch. Uh, I think two of them were avoidable. The one where the dude froze me turn one, that was for sure a win if I hit lob, if I didn't get frozen. Uh, and the uh, the one versus Crawdon, well, but that was just max HP helping him. But there, ah, I, I hate when I can't have a chance to win and you know, it just doesn't, slips away from me. I do hope you guys all enjoyed, though, of course. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.